Hello everyone. This is a quick video, and I hope this work is a guide for you guys. Uh, just when you want to fix a case, when you want to expand a logical volume on a Linux server. In this case, we're gonna. Exp uh, you guys will witness how to expand a live var logical volume uh, var logical volume stands for a logical volume that is currently holding a live var file system in this case you guys can see uh, in your server hosted on azure you guys are currently holding a server that has a var file system 10 gigabytes of size the need of a, uh, of a var expansion it's uh because uh mostly of the most of the variable files or the variable content that it's currently holding to it it is actually growing up on demand so that is why we are going to expand the actual file system so this is what we got 10g for uh, for the actual bar file system As you can see in this server from azure portal this uh our server dev 11 that I, that's the host name let's take a look the root file system uh, where the operating system is actually hold uh, or located at it is 32 gigabyte total and uh the data lon where the var file system is actually located has been expanded from 80g to the actual 1230g which it means that it, it was expanded to uh, 32 gigabytes uh totally so as you can see you will have a total uh just the demand and you will this is what you get 112 gigabytes so let's take a look whether the operating system actually took the change. Uh, so, press root. You might want to type ls build to lose the, uh, uh, the block devices that your system has already detected. And yeah, this is the actual disk sdc slash dev slash sdc where the 112 gigabyte is actually labeled. So you may want to take a look at the filtering with the uh, F this dash L and just pre prepare a couple of regular expression to filter whether the F this utility is able to detect it. Yes, um, let's remember that uh, Linux actually uh, Linux app disk detects a a volume with with a size quite bigger than the actual expected one, but that is normal. Uh, what you can see in the file system output, uh, it is actually the usage minus the min free area that the operating system has. <clears throat> for maintenance so yeah let's take uh, let's grab this on as they see it actually confirms the sdc output of lsblk so both of the matches so let's wrap it up and make another uh, 32 gigabyte partition with this tool so here you go fdisk Followed by the logical path name of the disk you want to partition. SDC. Okay. So, and here, here you are. Uh, right now, you are the first layer of the of the actual command F disk. So you may want to hit a P that stands for print the actual partition table. And yes, you will see that slash sdc1 stands for sdc1 
output that is actually holding all of the logical volumes we have and our goal is to add your goal it's uh, it's adding a new partition where you are going to expand the actual var file system uh, you may want to use the, the whole uh, free space of sdc but after checking on the document on uh, several documentation and several forums it is not recommended uh, it is not a good practice to use the whole uh, drive or the remaining space uh, with no partition number in order to expand your actual LV. It is a good practice to make them match to the boundaries of the partition in order to avoid any inconsistencies upon the partition table so let's write a new uh, write a new partition table by adding a new partition to it so you may want to hit it n stands for new uh, here you will choose for ease of sake p as a primary partition which is the default option however i'm going to type it out P partition number number is going to be two. Uh, FDX by itself which will select the the very next sector for you as a default. I'm going to hit enter on it, and this is where you will define the latest sector as the boundary of the slice you want to define. So, just type enter, and this is the, the new slice we want to, uh, this, the new size of the slides we want to define, which is 32 gigabyte. All right, let's verify it. Hit a P, enter, there you have it. SDC to that that is going to be your new physical volume that will be part of the actual volume group that you want to expand. So let's before wrapping up, uh, let's hit a W for write, write the new partition table, hit enter to it, and this is a warning. Kernel, it is actually using the old table. New table will be used at the next reboot. However, yeah, you could use it with a, uh, without rebooting, but uh, just in order to avoid inconsistencies on the file system, let's reboot it. Let's shut down. For shutting down, let's take a look at the actual usage of the file system. Uh, actually var it is actually using about or uh, close to 6g let's be okay let's block of devices uh, actually our sdc device is actually holding all of the volumes we want to extend Pant. In this case, the var file system. All right, everything uh, so far is so good. We're good to go. Shut it down. And just wait for a bit. Just wait for a bit. Uh, meanwhile, the server reboots. Okay, guys, let's let's take a look at the console in the in the Azure portal. Oh, oh man, uh, it looks like the console hasn't been configured well. So no worries about it.
let's uh, wait for our review. Okay, guys, uh, looks like our server is actually boot up. You want to hit sudo to become root. Personally, I like to use that h dash h dash h. It's a fancy way to become root, but it's a good way to become. Those are actually the options according to the sudo manual. Uh, recommends to become root. You may want to hit sudo su or any combination. It is actually valid, but I just got used to it. Uh, so, this is something I'd like you to take a look. We have already rebooted our server. So, let's take a look at LSBLK again. LSBLK output again. You'll see it. Kernel actually relabeled the external volume from SDC to SDB. And there is no problem for it. Because uh, because of the uh, Linux multipathing redundancy on the names, that is uh, that is why our our file system are still available. And you may want to prove it with the actual usage of the file system. Uh, actual uses of the file system. It is still almost the same. We haven't expanded, but it's again with the actual volume expansion. So take a look at the at the late uh, the previous LS, uh, list block output. Here you will see that SDB two. It is your new physical volume. Everything you have to do is initialize it. So here, here is the template that I got available for all of the commands that that I have to type. I always keep it handy. <clears throat> Let's take a look, but first at all of the physical volumes available we got. SDA2 and SDB1. SDA2, it belongs to uh, root VG, and this is actually the volume group that we are interested to expand, apps VG, where actually SDB1 is actually located at. This block again, here is it, SDB1 actually holds all of the logical volumes you got. And you want to expand the apps VG space. So to do that, take a look at uh, take a look at first at the actual details of the volume groups you want to expand. Hit the BG as in it, and then you will see that apps VG it is actually ADG size all right in order to increase the v size of this vg you have to initialize first the logic of volume you want to expand pv create dash ff in order to force and then you want to expand with the you want to expand with the actual size of sdb2 which is 32 gigabyte we want to expand or you want to expand all right so hit internet hit enter vgs again it hasn't expanded right but take a look at pvs and you have already uh, told uh, what what you did is actually told the kernel 
to recognize this SDV2 partition as a new physical volume. Now, what you got to do is tell the kernel that you want this new physical volume to be part of apps VG. And for that, hit the command VG extend, followed by the actual physical volume you want to extend with the size of sdb2 all right successfully extended let's do a pds again you see the change now sdb2 belongs to apps VG. and now let's take a look at how how much the space did change at the volume groups output you may want uh, you may want to use vg display uh, also you can you can uh, invoke the verbose output or super verbose output but just for ease of sake Let's take a look at, at a simple DDS that actually dumps out all of the uh, inf required information we need. All right. Can you see it? SVG, the new SVG size, it is 112G. That confirms that was expanded 32 gigabytes indeed. All right. If you want to display a verbose output. And this is also useful uh, just for the case you want it, uh, you want to keep handy of the UID. Or unique uh, unique user identifier of the device, which is also a valid input of the FS tab. But in this in this example, we will not use it. Uh, the FS tab it's already written by using the the full logical device name. Uh, also referred and pointed by the uh, by the Linux legacy multipather multipath software, which is the slash dev slash mapper. Let's take a look at how does the FS dev look like? FS dev is it slash dev slash mapper points to the logical volume we want to expand and the objective of this uh, tutorial is to expand a live bar partition so take, take a look back uh, to VGS output now but did you have told to the kernel that V size 112G are available to apps VG. Now, what you have to do is to extend 32 gigabytes of the logical volume var LV. Okay, so quick and easy. Let's extend it. Extend the logical volume. Take a look at the F. It looks like it still has the very same size. What you have to do is now expanding the upper layer, upper layer, which is the file system. Uh, ext4 file systems can be expanded by using resize 2fs command. Here in this case. I'm just expanding the var a file system, the var device that, that actually holds the file system, ext4 file system of var. Uh, it has been expanded 
successfully. So let's take a look. DF HT. You see it? Okay, I hope this quick tutorial works fine for you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.